Good afternoon, Linda. How are you doing on week three? I am glad it's Friday. Yes, amen. Nice. Hey. Weekend's coming up, so it's a good time for people to take on the next step as part of the growing in the pro advisor world, right? Yeah, we're starting out as a newbie, um, yep. which is fun. Actually, kind of fun. So um, let's I'll go. Be a newbie again. I know. It would be cool. Only Maybe. if I could have all the same knowledge still. Oh, well. You don't, that's <laughs> that's Sorry. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. So um, we're on step three, connecting um, to your QuickBooks online and all your services. So just as an online accountant has built, is built for pros, QuickBooks online is designed for small businesses, self-paced trainings. This is the good part. This is the stuff we talked about last time, the free yeah. stuff that, that's embedded in here. I've learned so much. I don't know about you, but I've learned so much about how the program works. And even there's even stuff about accounting and tricky transactions. You get into the higher level trainings. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. So actually when I was doing my QuickBooks online advanced recertification just recently, mm -hmm. uh, they had an example of how to handle sales tax transactions, where if you forget to charge somebody sales tax and you have to ring something back up again for just the sales tax, mm -hmm. uh, they showed how to do it. And I had never seen that before. I was, uh, it was cool. So there's some great knowledge. There's a lot of great knowledge in these things. Yeah, we always um, learn, right? Yeah. But so uh, why don't we show them actually where that the faints training is at? Okay. So logged into our accounting company called Newbie. <laughs> and um, it is under, if we go over to ProAdvisor, right? That's where all the training is, benefits training. So I'll take you to that page. And here we are. And we already have 600 points. Yes. Nice. So Pretty gold. <laughs> that's pretty gold. Games. Exactly. So the point system, to kind of explain it, that's something a little bit newer with Intuit, but they wanted to make it um, possible for people to grow into their, their pro advisor shoes, if you will. And they, there's different ways to earn different points, um, which I believe we can show, right? Um, we can go into here to show how to earn them. Um, so this shows you the methodology of how you can earn different points. One of the best ones being uh, when you become advanced certified, you get 200 points. Right. And that's for everybody that each person that's advanced, you get 200 points each. Right. Um, Since I'm, I'm the newbie and I hired you, you're already advanced certified. So I, boom, I got 200 points. Matter Great. of fact, we were just talking about if you hit the history button, that mm -hmm. now will populate the screen as you can see, and you get to find out where your points are coming from. And yeah. this is great. And it even shows you the changes that occur. So like for our company, Parkway, we've had fluctuation up and down as we released mm -hmm. some clients and then we brought some new ones on. No, my company, same thing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and um, it is pretty cool. And I actually didn't even know this button was here. So you showed me something today. <laughs> so, I get you 300 points. You I, get you <laughs> I have to put myself on here as my real person. <laughs> I can guess ah. Okay, so we're um, all right. We're back here to the points, and then let's go to the portal. So we're going to go into the training portal. But there's actually isn't down lower one of the other oh, value right. adds. We also have the ability to provide our clients training through this as well. Correct. So right, there's a lot of stuff in here. You get your downloads if you have the desktop. You get your marketing tools, which it, these are things that are free that you can go and grab into, right? Um, some of this is like constant contact. You get 20% off Squarespace only because we're here. If we move our way up here, the more you get certified, the more stuff you get. Um, the marketing hub, I, I've been in it. It's pretty cool. Um, chat and phone support, which is wonderful. And the training, of course. We're, so we're into that level of training and um, the software is in here too. So we were going to go to the training page. Yeah, pull that up. One of the things I love I love the fact that they did do this tiered effect where the deeper you get into it, right? The, the more percentage off you receive, right. but also even the, the, the phone support. So as yeah. you go higher and higher, you become an elite level, which really is not that tough to get to. I mean, we oh. have this at 600, right? So mm -hmm. you need a thousand more points. It's not that much more. And we would be at the top elite level and that gets you like faster, direct contact. Um, so less wait time. And that's mm -hmm. something you can help your clients with when they have questions and such too. So that's really neat. And I use it as a selling point. When I sell my services, I throw the word elite in there. I'm an elite pro advisor. And not only that, I get that elite support with Intuit, which uh, I 
can't say enough about. They're phenomenal. I've not, I've not had a bad experience at all. Um, okay, so we're going to go into the training portal now. And um, this is where we're going to, what we just talked about, all the training that we've, we've done and all the different, it just breaks it down by the, the modules and you can go through it self-paced. You can take yeah. it in little bits and pieces, which I recommend not doing the whole thing at once. You know, it's a big CDC test. credits to, for people that need it. Mm -hmm. um, they did a really good job. Do you mind clicking into one of these and we can kind of show what it looks like as a course. They really put a lot of time and energy to improve these. To pro advisor, you clicked on training. Training then gets you to where you've got your different options of training, not only just QuickBooks Online, but other courses. And then you jump into it, but I'm bump into it. And you this now have your different steps. So yeah. Well, this is going to bring you through all the, the, the self-paced lessons, right? And exactly. Test. Yeah, there's a whole different section. So you can come in and continue your lesson. What will end up happening also through all this is when you're going through those sections, you'll have like the one, two, three, four, five uh, little dots there. Mm -hmm. Number four will probably have like a quick review that they'll have you complete. A little quick. And it's, it's important to pay attention to those. Keep, keep those in mind. Those are helping you to better understand what's going to come up in the future um, on the exam. They're not exactly the same, but the, the talking points are definitely noteworthy. Right. And also the, um, and on this test too, like as you go through these, yes, sort of when you get to the test point, but also that's what I mean about taking these in small chunks. So if you can come through and take sections of it, because you have the ability to, this is a big test. This first round is big, right? They want you to, they're giving the whole broad overview of the online program. So yeah, I would take it in smaller segments. Don't try to take it in one day. I mean, and, and that would be my tendency. <laughs> um, so my business partner, Mike and I, what we did went a long, long time ago when we first got started, we actually committed about an hour every day, first thing in the morning, and we got together and we worked through the whole bit of information mm -hmm. on each of our different tests that we did. Um, and it just helped to kind of get it knocked out very quickly over right. time. Yeah, that's smart. That's a smarter way of doing it. I'm sure this is going to boot me out, but we can try. Uh, you want to go back? Let's see if we can show what the test looks like, right? Yeah, that's where we're headed. Really nice. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Ooh. Okay, so this is the exam. So you've got all the different sections, seven different sections. It's going mm -hmm. to come in. It's going to tell you, hey, here's the rules of the exam. It probably says do not cheat somewhere in there. Three, type, um, three, uh, three attempts. Yeah. Three attempts to, that you have to pass with 80%. Mm -hmm. um, if you do not pass with an 80%, you will be taking that whole section again. So a little tip that we recommend when you're going through and, and you're taking this course, go answer the question, choose the dot that you want, but before you click next, take a screenshot, save it. Um, it. It's great to know, like if you have any kind of hiccup, heaven forbid your internet dropped out or something, you at least will have no you'll know what you selected before that you could get through it a little bit easier. Um, mm -hmm. And it also helps that if you do at the end, if you don't pass a section, it will give you little tips like you should restudy this. You should restudy that. And you can utilize that to then refocus on it. But be uh, forewarned when you go back through questions will be different, but it's still important to have a uh, good knowledge of it. But they're different, but also if you go back to the question that you know went with the section and that you know you missed it, look at it, remember your answer because you've got your answer in the picture, and then you're like, okay, so that wasn't the answer, and then you might want to go back and revisit that section in the, te in the yeah. training too. First time people took the test, you had, actually, I had, it was four, tri uh, four chances, and you had A, B, C, and D. And <laughs> no. literally, if you got, if you whatever failed. ones you got correct, whatever ones you got correct, it didn't ask again. And you could go A, 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 A. B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 and it was impossible to fail. So they've done a great job to actually like beef this thing up. Well, 99, times, <laughs> 99 times if you didn't get it right, yeah. You should be a pro advisor. <laughs> Thank you. When I first saw that 99, I'm like, are you kidding? Oh, this yeah. is a pig. You didn't have that worry. But now three times you kind of can be a little worried if you don't pass the first or second time. You're going to be sitting there going, oh, my God, I've got to go take this test. So obviously we can't go through a whole bunch of the tests. We're not going to show that kind of stuff, but it is important when you're going through this. We're trying to give you some tips and tricks of how to successfully pass this. Um, this is going to show you like which five of the following statements are true, right? Mm -hmm. There are six options. 
be sure to pay attention to the language they use. That means they want you to click five. Um, there are many of those where it'll say, which, which two of these are the best? Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't pay attention to that, you would possibly get it wrong. Right. And you, you, you just have to be really careful because that's, that's the trickiness of the test, right? Making sure you get exactly read the directions. Don't just pick one, like, oh, I know that answer. And if it had five, you meant it, make sure you have five, you're going to get it wrong exactly. Um, and, and really pay attention to the order of the words that they use. It's, mm -hmm. it's tricky on purpose. You know, it's a, if it tells you go to the gear icon, then select um, account settings and then go to your sales tab. But you actually have to go to advanced or like they may change a word on it to mm -hmm. where it's not the right label for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, company settings versus advanced versus sales, that type of stuff. That is something that they're testing on also. Right. So it could say company settings, but it used to say account settings or vice versa. I mean, you need to really be careful when you're going through it. Sometimes it helps to have somebody read the question to you. I know myself, I've, when I got it wrong, I'm like, I read it and read it. And sometimes your brain just keeps reading the words wrong. You may not get the, get the exact count. Read it out loud is another, another great tip because if you read it out loud, you think you're seeing if you're a fast reader, and you just pick up pieces. And then if you read it out loud, I'm like, oh, that's why I got that wrong. Because sometimes I'll look at an answer. I go, I know I got that right, but really didn't. And I've had a second instance. I, I'll have the sample file open on a different computer and try to walk through the steps. So that way, I, if it's asking for you have to do this, 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 or this, I'll open up the sample file and go through the steps. So, Yep, exactly. So... I know that we also are supposed to, during this section, talk about onboarding, mm -hmm. but right. we know that onboarding is a pretty big topic, and both Linda and I have our own kind of unique perspectives of how to go about it. So I think we should wait till the next, we should do a different video just specific to that. What do you think? I agree. It's, it's just a big topic. I mean, we just did, I just did a whole webinar with Lean Law on onboarding. So that's a really big topic. And, and everybody takes the approach differently. And most of us are kind of still working on it. Even if we've, we've got our method in place, we kind of sit back and say, I know I could tweak this a little bit more. Anything we do to make it more automated, it's, yeah, we're always trying to make it less work, right? When we have a new customer. So. so we'll call that one 3.5 when we make it. I like it. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> On that note, anything else uh, worth? I don't think so. I think that's a, that was a great topic. Great tips. I can tell you that one time I took the advanced test and I clicked, it was a research and I clicked submit and I was done and I hit submit and my screen hung and I had to go back to those screenshots, call my pro advisor people and they took all the screenshots. I had passed. I had the picture of that success and I passed but they needed that because it didn't show up on my page. So take pictures of every single step when you're through the test. All agreed. On that note, here's wishing you guys a very successful week and test. And weekend. <laughs> Bye.